All right, how's everybody doing today? All right, my name is Colby, and this is my channel, and I am so glad y'all decided to spend this evening with me for a minute. This channel is by an amputee, for amputees, and we are going to talk about something today that is often overlooked and can make the difference in how long you can wear your, shoe, or your legs each day. It's the shoes you put on them. A lot of people think, a lot of people, a lot of amputees rather, will put a lot of weight into picking out the right shoe. And they're, they're, they're right about that, they should, but they will be going at it with the same mindset as if they were picking out shoes like normal people. And that's just not the case. Example, hiking boots. Hiking boots are great for people with ankles, but if you wear a prosthesis, why would you even wear a hiking boot? All right, let's break down what hiking boots are for. Hiking boots are leather, so they're waterproof, they're tough, they're heavy, they got hard soles on the bottom, and they come up high and lace tight so they can go around an ankle to prevent an ankle from rolling. Then, the bottom's hard so you can get traction and do all these things, but all of these things are designed around somebody with an ankle. If you don't have an ankle, then every single thing I just listed is working against you. And I don't mean that in like a, just a minor way. I mean literally every single one of them things that help somebody with legs is working against you. So what you need to do is don't worry about a waterproof shoe. Don't worry about your ankle because obviously you ain't got one if you're wearing prosthesis. All you need to worry about is that the shoe looks good, that it's lightweight, and that it's got mushy soles on it. Now, another factor that ain't quite as important, but it's one that is important to me that I pay attention to because I don't like a shoehorn, and I like to be able to slip my shoes on and off with my legs on. I don't like to have to take my leg off and waller a shoe on there and all that, even though I will if I like the shoe enough. But the point is, is it's convenience is convenient. You know, it's that simple. I'll say it again, convenience is convenient, all right? These shoes right here, oh, and by the way, I'm not affiliated with Hey Dude or nothing like that. These are just, these are just shoes that I picked up. I bought one pair and then I ended up getting a whole bunch of them because it almost seems like they were made for people with prosthesis. I'm gonna show you a pair and then I'll talk about them and I'll show them to you a little more. All right, the reason you want a mushy sole is because if you know anything about prosthesis, you know that if this is your the uh, leg stem and then this is the foot, the way the ankle and that part connects is with some gel that's real hard. So when you step, you get that flex on this part of the foot. And you know, the foot flexes, it's minor, but it flexes. That's how they simulate an ankle. Now, maybe you got a little nicer prosthesis or a knee that has a computer in it, whatever, but still the way they simulate joints is with flicks, you know, obviously. Okay, so that being said, if you are wearing a hard sole hiking boot, then the only flicks you're getting is from your ankle. I mean, from the simulated ankle. So if you know that and you pick out a soft sole shoe then now you get the mush of the sole plus the flicks of your ankle and the mush of the sole is going to take a lot of pressure off your knee on all them steps instead of it being a clang then a flex of your leg it's a mush and then your uh, ankle flexes it makes all the difference in the world and if you know this, if you've ever, uh, uh, I know for sure girls know and guys do too, if you've ever like been to a wedding and had to wear dress shoes, shoes that wasn't real comfortable, you can't wait to get home and get out of them hard sole dress shoes. So this video is really just to bring it to your attention that, that you need to pick out shoes as an amputee. Don't pick out shoes like normal people do. Don't think because I'm going to the rodeo I need to wear cowboy boots or don't think because I'm riding four wheelers I need to wear big rubber boots because the big rubber boots are so somebody don't get their feet wet. You don't have feet. You could go, <laughs> you could go in a pair of flops if you wanted to. It don't matter. All that's important to you is that you need a soft sole shoe that's light. All right, now check these bad boys out. These are Hey Dudes, and when I tell you that these are mushy, I'm talking about they are mushy. The whole shoe is 
you know, it's cloth. I'm talking about the whole entire shoe is cloth. And this is just a few of the colors, but look how many fly colors they have. Them are the grays. This is a little pair of lighter grays with the camo, oh, let me get that back, the camo on the back. Oh, this is that Kansas City Chiefs red right here. I got these just to wear with a Patrick Mahomes jersey when football season starts. How clean is that? How clean is that? And every one of them are made the same. Light, super light with the uh, extremely mushy sole. Extremely mushy. Here, if you need some dress shoes, you know, there you go with khakis right there. Bam. <laughs> I'm talking about these shoes really feel like that they were designed for an amputee. I mean, that's what you'll think when you put them on. Now, all that being said, like, okay, let me give you an example of a shoe that, that has half of them features, Wallabies, Clarks. Everybody know what I'm talking about? I used to love them shoes so much. They, because them were the first shoes where that I put on that had the mushy sole and I realized the difference in a mushy sole and a hard sole. But the reason this video ain't about Clarks is because Clarks, Clarks sole is this thick and it's solid like, I don't wanna call it rubber because it's heavier than that. It's some kind of, you know what that dent stuff is on the bottom of Clarks. I don't know what it's called, but them shoes are some of the heaviest shoes I've ever had on, you know? So you get part of the benefits to mushy sole, but they're heavy on the end. So that trade off is, you know, it's almost worth it, but they're not an everyday shoe. If you put on a pair of Hey Dudes, you won't ever want to put on another pair of shoes. That's why I bought so many different brands. I've even got a little here, even my work shoes, the ones that I paint the house in, this is how long, look at this. this. That's how mushy the sole is, look at that. Now don't worry, these are a year and a half old of wearing them hard, you know, that's why that, that's why they're that ate up. But even my work shoe is a hey dude. Now, and that's another good example. I don't even know why I didn't think about it, but somebody might be like, why do you work in them shoes? Why wouldn't you wear steel toe? Oh, come on, I don't need no steel toe. I don't care if something falls on my toe and smashes it. All I want is to be comfortable and to have a good grip. And I want to be able to slip these shoes on and off just that quick. That's what's important to me because why? Convenience is convenient. It's that simple. Now I'm gonna make this video short and sweet just because it wasn't nothing but a little tip about shoes. But to, uh, my video tomorrow is gonna be a little a bit more personal because uh, I got a poem or two I wrote and I don't know, I might wanna read it on here. I might not, I might get shy by then. But if you get a chance, these are only about $60 a pair. You could probably find them from 45 to 70 for sure, just depending on where you get them. And definitely if you're an amputee, get you a pair, try them out. Oh yeah, and I got one more good pro tip for y'all that I don't know if you know, but as an amputee, once again, it's about doing things for you instead of, like if you're, uh, let me just say what I'm gonna say and then I'll explain it. Try taking the soul out of your shoes. Try, just try it, because if you think about it, a sole and a shoe, if you look at it, you can see everything, oh hang on, you can see there, that's designed for the arch in your foot, that's designed for a big toe, that's designed for them toes, that bent, that high spot right there is designed for the arch in a foot, that heel is designed for the heavy part of your heel, none of this, none of it an amputee has. I mean, if you are, and I keep saying amputee, if you lost their arm or something, obviously you do, but none of these, a person who wears prosthesis has zero use for this besides the cushion. That's it. But if you already have designed, have picked out a shoe with the soft sole, then you want this and throw that sun gun away. You don't need it no more because now the bottom of this thing is just like this, this side of it flat and if you look at the bottom of your prosthesis if you look at the bottom of your foot it's not shaped like anybody else's foot it don't have the curve the arch none of that your foot is flat so if you get your shoes and you take the soles out of them i promise you on eight out of ten pair of shoes they're going to be more comfortable to you on eight out of ten pair now there's a couple awkward pair of shoes that that are that are just the right size for a foot and if you take the uh if you take the sole out then the shoe kind of wallers around on there and you might don't want to do it on that shoe but i'm telling you eight out of ten pair of shoes 
the soul is made for somebody with a real live fleshy foot. All right. Thank y'all for spending this little bit of time with me, and I really, really hope that some of this information is getting out to some people that need it. And if you're out there struggling with your amputation, man, I promise you just keep pushing. Don't let quit be in you. I mean, just, just don't push through. You can do it. Much love.